I'm Dan Shule, captain for St. Joe Arpton's scholastic bowl team. My teammates will introduce themselves from right to left. Sophie Slocker, junior. Carrie Segal, senior. Zachary Carmichael, junior. Dean Meyer, senior. Hello. I'm Tara Cody. I'll be captain of the PBL varsity scholastic bowl team. We're coached by Mrs. Schwartz and Mrs. Dunleavy, and my teammates will introduce themselves in order of how hungry they are. <laughs> Scott. Kent. Hannah. Logan. Logan had a bag of chips. I did. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yep. All right. Toss up number one is in literature mythology. According to Norse mythology, what region at the center of the universe was the home of the gods? Asgard. Oh, did oh, I clear it? I'm sorry. You did, but that's okay. That is correct. All right, your bonus is going to be three parts in history of art. Identify the following museums. First one, the London home of the Rosetta Stone. British Museum. Part two, uh, identify the museum of Leningrad's famed art museum. Popular Wax Figure Museum. of bonuses in here that are like give three of the seven continents we're going to do those the old fashioned we're going to do those the old fashioned way. Well, that's not that's not an actual question <laughs> but we're going to do those the old fashioned way where you get 30 seconds and then you give all of them everybody clear on that and it'll be pretty clear when it's so can, like, talk, red though. yeah yeah we can, we can talk discuss during the time yes you okay. can you get 10 seconds per part and you can still confer okay and then if you're if you're rebounding, you get a three count to do your rebound. Okay. Everybody clear now? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Toss up uh, number two: history of art. What American female artist painted in the Red Hills of Ghost Ranch, New Mexico? Okay. O'Keefe. That is correct. Nice. <laughs> All right. So your bonus is going to be three parts in world literature. We're going to identify the people of classical Greece and Rome. So part one, he wrote History of the Peloponnesian Wars in the 5th century BC. Time. Homer? Incorrect. Socrates? Incorrect. It was uh, Thucydides. Question two. He wrote the plays Clouds and the Frogs. Time. Sophocles. Incorrect. Plato. Incorrect. Aristophanes. And the last one, she wrote lyric poetry from the island of Lesbos. Times. Aristophanes. Incorrect. 
Give me a Persephone. Incorrect. Sappho. All right, toss up number three is in algebra. I'm guessing computation, right? Yeah, I would say so. Let's call this one computational. It doesn't say, so we're yeah. going to guess. All right, how many tennis matches will be played by six people if each person plays each other person three times? Bonus is in geography. Answer the following questions about Hong Kong. Question one, Hong Kong lies at the mouth of what Chinese river? Time, the Yellow River. Incorrect. Yangtze? Incorrect, it is the Canton River. Question two, what city is the capital of Hong Kong? Hong Kong was a crown colony of what country until 1997? Um, Japan. Incorrect. Great Britain. Correct. All right, toss-up number four is in social studies, European history. What system of government was established by Benito, Benito Mussolini in Italy in the 19... Tara? Fascist? Correct. All right, your bonus is three parts in trigonometry. Is that going to be like three seconds each? Is it no, it's still ten seconds. All right, still ten seconds for each. Right. So you're going to evaluate these inverse trigonometry trigon trigonometric functions. The inverse trig functions, there we go. <laughs> Part one, the arctan square root of three. Time. Two. Incorrect. Zero. Incorrect. It's pi over three. Part two, the arc sine square root of three over two. Time. Two root three over three? Incorrect. I'd like to refer to that. Two pi over three? Incorrect. Pi over three. And the last one, part three, the arc sine of negative square root of two over two. <laughs> Express 280 degrees in radian measure. Parts in world literature. Identify the ancient Greek playwrights of these works. First one, Electra. Time. 
time. Soccer, please. That is correct. Part two, the Orestia Trilogy. Trojan women. Time. Pericles. Incorrect. Aristophanes. Incorrect. Euripides. I thought I made that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> All right. Toss-up number six is miscellaneous industrial arts. What is the holding device attached to the rotating headstock of a lathe? Toss-up number seven in biology. Name the small bass-like fish with brightly colored reds, oranges, and yellows. Dan? Flounder. Incorrect. Tara? The rainbow turtle? Incorrect. That'd be the sunfish. Toss-up number eight is in social studies geography. Which British explorer crossed the Rocky Mountains to the Pacific and was the first European to see the river, the longest in Canada, which now bears his name? Oh, Scott. Hudson? Incorrect. Zach? Lawrence? Incorrect. It would be Alexander Mackenzie. assume the math is computational. So this is math and geometry. Find the length of the radius of a circle when the diameter endpoints are at 10, negative 5, and negative 4, 3. Toss-up number 10 is literature, British literature. Octavia, Antony, Caesar, and Cleopatra are characters central to what play by William Shakespeare? Dan? Julius Caesar. Incorrect. Tara? Antony and Cleopatra. Correct. All right, your bonus is three parts in agriculture. Give the consonant for each of the following. Part one. Which continent produces the most corn? South America? Incorrect. North America? Correct. Part two, which continent produces the most rice? Asia? Correct. And part three, which continent produces the most wheat? is in agriculture. The peanut, a herbaceous plant of the lagoon family, is native to what continent? <coughs> Dan? South America. Correct. <coughs> the 
give a three-part bonus in sports. And this one will be done in the traditional manner. So I guess 30 seconds to name them. Yeah. All right. So name three of the final four teams in the 2011 Men's Division I Basketball Tournament. each got one part. The other two listed are the University of Kentucky and the Virginia Commonwealth University. <laughs> Toss up that's, oh no, are we on 12? Yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry. Halfway. I thought we were at 13, sorry. Is it 20? It's 24, so we'll do a half after okay. 12. Toss up number 12 is in biology. The salivary and sweat glands are part of what group of glands? Carrie? Sebaceous. Incorrect. Apocrine? Incorrect. They were looking for exocrine. L60. Does that sound right? Sure, I'll buy that. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Is that what you guys have? That's uh, what they're saying. I gotta go get some. Are you out of those? Yeah. Okay, come on, Paige. Luckily, Butler made it back to the back. Yes, Paige. It's not close to the answer. I will definitely be right. Okay, we have three bowlers. That's accurate. The history of the birds and lives are pretty much They're not that bad. I've had a question. Well, yeah, we had a map like all the birds. I knew that. 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 You said these were going to be like 10. I said they were straight forward. That's all I said. And then it was. Are you going to waste all our half time arguing with me? Yes. What else were you going to do? Also, okay. Yeah. I was going to have a choice. You and us were talking about it. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> 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 and you stand up and stretch, do it now, because you look like you're all about to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay. 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 You said South America corn. How do you say South America corn? I'm I'm going to i Okay. Just like, wait, All right. You guys done with your pet talk? Yes. So that's the end of that time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talking smack. Right. Looks like St. Joe, we got the same, <laughs> same group of people here. Sarah, would you mind introducing your new teammate? Or a Paige. Hi, Paige. <laughs> All right. Toss up number 13 is in literature, U.S. literature. Despairing drunks spend an evening inside a bar in which Eugene O'Neill play. Time. That would be the Ice Man Cometh. <coughs> Toss up fourteen is in chemistry. Malachite is a common ore of what element and metal? Zach? Iron. Incorrect. Mm 
Ten. That'd be copper. <laughs> Toss up fifteen, social studies, U.S. government. What is the only amendment to the U.S. Constitution to be ratified by... <laughs> Dan? The 22nd. Incorrect. Do I finish it? Yeah, finish the question. Start over. No, just okay. read from where you left off. To be ratified by state conventions rather than by state legislators. <laughs> Scott? 25th. Incorrect. It'd be the 21st. Toss up 16 is calculus. I'm assuming 30 seconds. <coughs> Change the polar coordinate, negative 3, 90, to a rectangular coordinate. Zero, zero. Incorrect. Zero, one. Incorrect. Zero, negative three. Toss up 17 is in British literature. Helena loves Bertram in what comedy by William Shakespeare? Scott? A Midsummer Night's Dream? Incorrect. Dan? Comedy of Errors? Incorrect. All's well that ends well. Toss of 18, Fine Arts Musical Theory. Which instrument has an almond-shaped body, is descended from the lute, and has either four or five strings? Dan? A sitar. Incorrect. Tara? A mandolin. Correct. Your bonus is in biology, three parts. It will be done in the traditional old school manner. Name three of the six types of movable joints in the human body. would be a ellipsoidal joint, a gliding joint, and a pivot joint. All right. Toss up 19 is in physics. What is the momentum of a 0.5 kilogram football traveling at 16 meters per second? U.S. history. Which U.S. president tried to rid the midnight judges and the last-minute Federalist appointee to the U.S. Supreme Court of John Adams? Incorrect. Of John Marshall. Scott. James Monroe. Incorrect. It is Thomas Jefferson.
Toss up 21 is a mathematics probability. We'll see. Probably. <laughs> Just in case. All right. You're asking we'll the wrong. I person. know. All right. Four seats are available for six people. In how many different ways can they be filled? is three parts in algebra. Given that A is the complex number 5 plus 2i and B is 2 minus 5i, find the following. Part 1. A times the conjugate of A. times B. Time. Head to first page. 10 plus negative. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. um, 10 minus 29i. Incorrect. 20 minus 21i. And the last part, A minus B. Class of 22 is literature, U.S. literature. James Fenimore Cooper's novel, The Last of Mohicans, was set in Upper New York State during what war? Tara? French and Indian. That is correct. Your bonus is three parts in U.S. literature. Name the dramatist responsible for each of these four plays. Three, three plays. <laughs> There's only three listed. Yeah, it's just three. It's okay. Part one, Blythe Spirit. Party. I'm sorry? Party. Incorrect. William. Incorrect. Noel Coward. Part two, All My Sons. Williams. Incorrect. Cooper. Incorrect. Arthur Miller. And part three, Under Milkwood. Williams. Incorrect. Cooper. Incorrect. Dylan Thomas. Toss up 23 is chemistry. What chemical element with atomic number 82 is the last member of group 4A in the periodic table. Page? Francie. Incorrect. Dan? Mercury. Incorrect. It'd be lead. Last toss up is in social studies, US history. Trickle down economics is a term that originated during whose U.S. Dan? Reagan. That is correct. Yeah. 
Your bonus is three parts in U.S. history. Identify the following battles of the American Revolution. Part one, George Washington was defeated near New York on August 27, 1776. the Battle of Long Island. Part two, Washington attacked Sir William Howe on December 25th through 26th, 1776. Time, Battle of Trenton. Correct. In part three, Washington failed to check the British advance at Philadelphia in September of 1777. I have the final score, St. Joe 130, PBL 110. Is that what you guys have? Okay. Good job, guys. Um, I assume Momentum is going to come in and play next. So, 